Bitcoin? Uh, my answer to that is take this video, uh, tweet at Peter Schiff, at Simon Dixon, twit, and ask Peter Schiff if he's going to willing to come on Bitcoin Hard Talk um, and we'll discuss it um, person to person. So I don't want to speculate on why um, he's given such a distaste to Bitcoin. Um, I have my theories. My theory is that he's uh, decided that um, two things. My guess is uh, he has a business that's centered around selling as much gold as possible. And I think he started to notice that people were selling their gold and interested in Bitcoin. And so this immediately um, started him thinking. Now, I created a video a while ago in one of the AMAs. It was called Who Not to Trust in Crypto. And I talked about the uh, uh, behavioral finance and how different psychological techniques drive you around a narrow vision where you delete all of the information that doesn't back up your belief. Uh, so therefore, you have a part of your brain called the reticular activating system that deletes information. It's the part of the brain that when you get a new car, you start to notice everyone else has that car or you buy some new uh, jogging shoes or trainers and you notice everyone else has them. That's the reticular activating system. It's also the part that deletes the fact that you could be focusing on whether your heart's pumping right now, but your brain just ignores that and does it anyway. Um, so we all have this in our brain. Um, and I think Peter Schiff has triggered his reticular activating system, RAS, for two reasons. One, I think he originally started to notice that um, gold sales were starting to actually, uh, people were diversifying. And so that started to annoy him. Uh, then the reticular activating system triggered off. So he started to see everything that uh, make him believe that Bitcoin is bad, gold is good, uh, when reality is they're ultra complementary. There's things that gold can do that Bitcoin can't do. There's things that Bitcoin can do that gold can't do. Um, and they're actually very important uh, diversifications of each other. <clears throat> um, the other thing is, I think he started to notice that the more he hated on Bitcoin, the more attention he got. Uh, the more he talked about Bitcoin, as Bitcoin became such an attractive topic, you know, gold became a very boring topic. Bitcoin became a very exciting topic. So the more he talked about it, he got famous as the anti-Bitcoin guy, the Nuriel Rubini strategy, um, which actually drove more sales for gold. Um, and I believe he actually, his business actually accepts um, gold sales in Bitcoin. So I'm sure he's accumulating a lot of Bitcoin throughout this, or his businesses are. Um, and it's a great way of accumulating more Bitcoin. So I don't fully, you know, that's one way of looking at it. Um, or you could just say, that uh, he's shut off from the possibilities, or maybe we're all just crazy. Um, and he's right, time will tell. But yeah, invite him on the show. We'll talk it, uh, we'll talk it out. Uh, that's uh, the whole concept of Bitcoin Hard Talks, by the way. Uh, I keep saying Bitcoin Hard Talks, hard, Bitcoin Hard Talk, get in that habit. Um, the reason we created the show is because uh, I, I didn't necessarily want to just invite people that already love Bitcoin and we can talk about Bitcoin. I'd rather inv invite people that are not quite there yet or um, are against Bitcoin so that we can have the hard talks about hard money. Um, and really, we can use it as an educational experience to understand what stops people getting into Bitcoin so that we can try and support more adoption um, and help more people by understanding what is actually the reasons that are stopping people. Love to have Peter Schiff on the show. So tweet him, copy me in. Uh, maybe you can take a soundbite out of this video uh, and maybe that inspires him to actually come on the show. But Azad, we'll, we'll give that as one of your tasks to try and uh, get Peter Schiff on the show and we can, we can uh, debate it out.